Alright, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing an update on my project pan. So I'm just going to kind of go through everything, not uh, too slowly, I guess. So we will just start uh, now. Basically, I just have the Tarte uh, Make Believe in Yourself palette that I picked. I was using this a lot um, in January and um, like about half of February. And then I kind of got bored and I wanted to do other palettes. But I do have some big, um, deep, uh, I guess, like, holes in some of, some of them, like Trance, I use that one a lot. Fairy, which is the purple. Um, definitely Myth, I use that every day for a transition color. Um, yeah, those are the main shades that have, like, the bigger dips in them. But uh, besides that, yeah, it's kind of hard to use this, especially that middle shade, because it's not really that good. It's kind of chunky and just kind of looks weird on the eye. So yeah, this one's been a bit of a struggle. Right, I think I just changed how I'm gonna do this. I'm going to talk about um, like the things that I've pretty much almost used up. So the first thing then is the Stila Midnight Magic, uh, or Molten Midnight. I, Midnight Magic sounds like a cool name too though. But Stila Molten Midnight uh, Liquid Glitter. Uh, this one is pr done, like the inside is all dried out. I used it as much as I could before it dried out, but this is done. It's no longer usable. So there is a little bit of product, but I did get my use out of it at least. Um, the same goes almost for the Gold Goddess. This still has some stick to it, but there is just barely um, enough left. Maybe enough look for like one or two more eye looks. So this one is pretty much gone. It might dry out soon, but uh, yeah. These two Stila glitters are pretty much done. Okay, and then I did use up my entire Shape Tape concealer. This was the shade Light Sand, which was way too dark for me, or way too light for me. Um, so I have my correct shade now, which I'm wearing today, which I think looks a lot better, but I just used this as a primer on the eyes, and that's how I got rid of it. But yeah, I love this concealer um, just normally, but this shade was a little too weird. Okay, something else that's almost finished is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. So I don't use this as a concealer because I'm way too oily and it breaks up like within an hour. Um, so I can't use this as a regular foundation. The bottle is about to here. So um, yeah, I have just a little bit left, but I use it to kind of blend the shade from my face to my neck and make it even because this is my perfect match for a shade, which sucks because the formula is not good for me. But I just kind of blend it down my neck and it works there and yeah so it just kind of blends everything together to make it look more seamless. So this one's almost done. It should be done within maybe the next month or two. And then I have bronzers. So the Hula Benefit bronzer, um, I made a bigger hole in it. There's only a little bit left on the sides. So that's definitely good so far. And then the butter bronzer, I made an even bigger tent than this. There's just a little bit left along the sides. I think I might break it up tonight and repress it with some alcohol um, just so I can get the edges easier because I don't really use this one that much because of the fact that it's all along the sides. It's hard to get on the brush. So I'll probably repress this one and try to use all of it, but you could pretty much say that this one's done too. Now for the NARS, uh, the Laguna bronzer. I do use this every day and I can see just like a barely like a little dip but um, this is going to last me forever. I would be not surprised if I haven't finished this by the end of the year. But I definitely am trying on that one. Okay, so highlight time. Uh, the Becca bronzer, I did hit pan. And I got a pretty decent size for it. Um, yeah, the whole middle section is gone. So now I just have these sides to work on. Um, but I did, I mean, this isn't really part of the project pan, but I want to share it anyway. Um, I've been using the Master Chrome highlight. Uh, it's in the shade 250. Uh, but this one, I hit pan on right in the middle as well. So I was really excited about that. Even though it's a highlight that wasn't in my project pan, uh, this one, I also hit pan, which is surprising for a highlight. So yeah, I hit pan on both of those. All right, up next is the Pacifica blush. And I did recently hit pan on this, like just within the last like week or two. Um, yeah, I've used a bunch of this shade. Like I said, I'm going to use this shade first, and then if I finish this one, which I'm pretty sure I will, I'm going to end up going to the next one. 
but this is, I might, I'm wearing it today. It's one of my favorite blushes. I think the formula is really good. And I've had this makeup on since 4 in the morning and it's 4.57 right now. So it lasts a long time. Okay, sorry to jump around a little bit. This is kind of just disorganized. But the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation I have used once um, so far. Um, because it's definitely not my shade. It oxidizes. So I have to wait for the summer for to use that one. <clears throat> and I would say I have about half left on the Ready Set Gorgeous. I've used this um, a couple times, probably, you know, six to seven. So I've used up some of it. It's just very dark for me. So I do have to use my um, mix-in, like, uh, white foundation to help make the shade match better. Really fast, I have not used the Take Home the Bronze bronzer at all. Like I said, it's too dark, so I have to wait for the summer to use that one when I get a little bit tanner. But besides that, um, this, what is it, ColourPop lipstick in Echo Park. I am wearing it today. I do try to wear it as often as I can, um, but I don't really wear lip products a lot, so I don't know why I keep buying them. I have a bunch of lip products, as you can see, so, um, yeah, I haven't really used this one too much, and I haven't really used the Bite Beauty um, lip liner, so, I mean, these aren't bad products, I just barely ever use lipstick or any kind of lip product. So, I ended up finding all of my, like, felt tip colored liners from uh, Maybelline. So, the gold one is almost done, I think, but, um, yeah, that one's just a little bit more chunky than the others, I noticed. Um, I have used this lighter purple shade, uh, let's see what it is, um, Violet Nova a lot, and the purple and the teal are almost running out, so I would say pretty good progress on these uh, colored liners so far. But the black elf liner I used once and it went everywhere, so I should probably just give up on this, but I'll try again another time. <laughs> okay, up next is the ColourPop. Let's see, Super Shock Shadows, I have it in Revolution and Ritz. Um, I made kind of a dent in Ritz, but besides that, the Revolution shade, I mean, I also made a dent in. I use these almost for like a month straight, but uh, they're just really hard to go through because they're basically just toppers. So yeah, unless I wear it with like these elf ones that I have that I also put in the project pan, the smudge pots which I've made decent progress at, but um, not anywhere close to what I want it to be, so I'm definitely going to have to focus more on these before they do expire. And I remember using this Flower Beauty one once, so I don't even know what it looks like anymore. It, uh, it's pretty... Um, it's still soft, but it's getting discolored for some reason. Like, some of it is yellow and some of it is white. I don't know if you guys can kind of see, like, the yellow and the white in there. But it's it's pretty gross looking, so um, I probably should not put this on my eyes anymore. So I am actually just going to throw this away. It's not worth an eye infection or anything weird. Oh. So, yeah. But the last thing is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer that I did get in a um, Ipsy bag. It, it's a shade light medium and this shade is like my perfect face shade so not, I don't really use it under my eyes at all. But this is really good to cover up um, basically blemishes or discoloration or anything. So that's what I've been using this for. Um, I would say maybe a fourth done. I haven't used it too often just to conceal like those spot areas. So not too much used as if I would use it under my eyes. Alright guys, that is pretty much just the update. I went through three products, which is the Tarte concealer and the two Stila glitters, and I made a lot of progress on the pans for the blushes, the highlights, and the bronzers. So I really gotta focus on these eyeshadows and definitely try to get rid of those because I have a lot of that left and try to focus on those lip products. So yeah, that is the update for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. But yeah, I definitely have more plans uh, for this channel like I said before. But yeah, this is just my Project Pan update and I will do another update probably sometime around like July, maybe. Uh, so yeah, definitely more consistent updates than last year. 
So yeah, see you guys in my next video.